Welcome back to North Mississippi Outdoors with the Joiners. Please be sure and subscribe to our channel. Uh, beautiful day outside. Today we would like to be fishing, but uh, we've got to do maintenance on our boat motor. Get ready for fishing season. It's February. Uh, anxious to go. They had a tournament, crappie tournament yesterday on Sardis. Uh, it, it gave me the bug with this beautiful weather. Uh, today we're going to change the oil uh, and gear oil in our Mercury uh, 150 motor uh, on our Tracker 195 TXW uh, boat. Uh, gonna start off by lowering the motor so that the oil will drain down. Just trim it down. To about level. I'm gonna pop the cowl off. Like so. Set it to the side. Got our oil tank right there, dipstick right there, oil filter right there. Uh, we're gonna hook a hose up, the oil's gonna drain out right there. So we went ahead and uh, took off our oil cap, got it up sitting on top, uh, hooked up the drain hose, loosened the uh, drain plug for the motor, and we've got our oil draining. In fact, it's almost done, uh, but we're gonna let that keep on draining for a minute and uh, get ready to change our gear oil. We have to take the prop off to do that, so that's gonna be what we're doing next. So inside our prop, we have the lock nut, and it's got tabs sure if you can see it but right there and on the bottom side and I need to fold those out so I can take the nut off so we folded the little tabs out and uh, it's a 1 and 1 16th inch socket that we're going to use to take the uh, nut off to remove the prop so you can take a 2 by 4 and put it in there to block your prop for when you uh, loosen the nut uh, that will keep the prop from spinning so that you can get it loose. After you take the nut loose, the prop will just slide, should slide right off. There. Let's set it to the side. And sure if you can see that screw right there is your drain plug for your gear oil so I'm gonna take a screwdriver and loosen that and let it start draining so for the screw uh, if it's tough to get off uh, it actually a 10 millimeter uh, fits it of course once you get the 10 millimeter on there then getting it back off it's a tight spot but uh I wasn't able to turn it with the screwdriver, so I had to get out a wrench and put it on there, and uh, that got it taken care of. So after you loosen it, you notice that there's hardly any oil coming out. And so now we've got to get this screw right here and loosen it, and that'll let some air through and let the oil come out. So we got that screw out. And now we got pretty good flow coming out from our gear. Well, we're gonna let that drain. We're done draining the engine oil. Lay that hose right there. Get my wrench and tighten the oil drain plug back up. I also got to change the oil filter. Turn it the right way. Got my oil filter wrench and uh, to loosen up my oil filter. Got it loose. Got my rusty towel ready because I can just about guarantee you something's going to run out. Oh, not too bad. A little bit. Put the towel in there and dry that up. 
You set the oil filter in the oil pan, let that oil run out. Got a nice little catch tray right there for your excess oil, which is really nice. Dry that off. Get that cleaned out pretty good. Now we're going to put the new oil filter on. Putting the new oil filter on now. Exact oil filter that we took off. Good and hand tight. And that is on there. Next step, we're going to fill up our oil tank. Get the oil back in it. Alright, so now we're going to fill it back up with oil. Your oil goes in right here. Uh, very important to remember that this is a four-stroke engine and uh, you cannot put two-stroke oil in it. If you do, you might as well write the check for a new motor. I think I'm going to need somebody to hold my filter, my funnel, so you can stop that. So it takes a premium blend of 10W30 marine engine oil. Holds six point uh, six point three quarts. That was uh, one gallon, so that's four quarts right there. So now we're adding our gear oil. We've uh, screwed in the adapter to the uh, bottom drain plug, and we're pumping our uh, gear lube into the motor. We're watching for it to get to where our gear oil starts running out that hole. Bottom is uh, because that way it pushes all the air out the top and you know you have a good full uh, lower unit that's full of uh, the right amount of gear fluid. And it should actually take about two quarts. This is quart number one. coming out. Uh, yep. Hmm. Interesting. And so we're going to put that screw in because we know it's full. 
I'm about <clears throat> I'm about to lose some of my gear lube because uh, actually it's running backwards into the jug. But when I go to put this screw in, I have to take this loose, and some of the gear oil is going to drain out. You see, it's coming out. So now we've got our lower unit full of uh, gear oil, and we're going to take our prop and put it back on. Whoops, got the spline out of the prop. Okay. Put the nut on. And uh, while we're screwing the nut down, Notice uh, the blades on my prop it doesn't have gashes all in it. If you ever go to buy a boat and you want to know what how well it's been taken care of, uh, you can look at your prop. And unless the person has changed and put a brand new prop on, if their prop is chewed up, they probably haven't been taking very good care of their boat. They've been running it in shallow water and rocks, and for some places you don't have much choice. supposed to go on first. So we're going to take it back off and put that on. Now we will put our locking nut lock on and put the nut back on like we should have done the first place. The first place. Looser because the lock is not in the proper place. A little bit more. There. And so now we will bend those back down.
the tabs have to go flat against the nut. Uh, thank you for watching. So that concludes the uh, maintenance, annual maintenance on the boat. We changed the lower unit uh, gear oil and we changed the oil in the oil filter in the motor. And so it should be good to go probably for the next year, depending on how much I use it. it we won't have to do this again until next year. Uh, please be sure and subscribe to our channel. And uh, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.